G'day again. I am setting up a new NBN fiber to the node internet connection. So it'll be running through the copper telephone line and using VDSL for connectivity. So we've just received our new modem. It is a Netcom NF4V. So I thought I'd go through that with you, unboxing it and setting it up and getting your connection live. So the difference between the NF4V and the NF10WV that is often provided is the 4V basically upgrades you to gigabit ethernet connectivity on your WAN and LAN ports. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same as the NF10WV. So as you can see on the back of the box here, we have two USB 2 ports, a VDSL or ADSL fixed line interface, gigabit one, if you have fiber connectivity, two phone ports for VoIP support basically with your ISP, four gigabit ethernet LAN ports, and Wi-Fi N support, so up to 300 megabits per second. So that's the same as the NF10WV. So in the box here, we've got our router itself, which is really quite huge. It's substantially bigger than its predecessor, the NF10WV. Continuing in the box, we have our quick start guide, as well as warranty card, a wireless security card with the default Wi-Fi information, power, and in the bottom here, we have a Cat5e Ethernet cable and phone line. The modem itself, if we take it out of the plastic, is it is heavier than the NF10WV. It does not appear to have any wall mounting points or anything like that though. Uh, so even though it is quite a sturdy looking device, it appears that you have to use it on the stand. Um, there's no way to mount it. So having a look at it, we've got our power, DSL, internet, and one indicators on the right here. There are four ethernet ports, Wi-Fi and WPS indicators, our two USB port indicators, and our two telephone port indicators. We have our power button. We also have our first USB port and our Wi-Fi and WPS buttons. So you can turn Wi-Fi on and off just with the press of a button. On the back, we have our DSL or line in port, our two VoIP phone ports, our four gigabit ethernet ports, our gigabit one port, reset button, our second USB port and power. Now it does say that it's USB 2, but these USB ports are both blue inside, which makes me wonder if they're actually USB 3. I'd be very interested to find out for sure. So our quick start guide is very simple. It's literally three pages and it just gives you a quick run through of basically connecting the cables. There's not much more to it than that. And then the difference between connecting to either an ADSL or a VDSL service and also connecting to your Wi-Fi. So very straightforward. So how about we go and plug her in and I'll show you what you actually need to do to get the internet up and running. So you'll remember the power and DSL line in ports here. So just plug the phone line into the DSL port and the power into the power port and if you don't already have the power button turned on, just press that on the side and the red power light will come on. Now once the router is ready to begin connecting to the internet, that red light will change to green. Now this can take up to a couple of minutes, I found. Once it's green, your DSL connection will begin starting and that can again take, I found up to four minutes on the very first connection because it's self-authenticating. So it can take longer because of that but once it comes on solid your internet light will start flashing and you will now have internet access so you should also have the green wi-fi light on to confirm your wi-fi is running and you can then connect to it using the default settings provided on that little wi-fi card that came in the box so that's it the netcom nf4v 
gigabit ethernet and Wi-Fi router. Compatible with the NBN, fiber to the node and fiber to the premises services. If you found this video helpful and you're thinking about getting one of these Netcom NF4B routers for your own NBN internet connection, I've put some links down in the description of where you can get it. Uh, and if you want to use one of my referral links, I'd really appreciate it. But otherwise, all good. So you want to see some more from me. If you click over here, you can see my latest video. Or down here is a video that hopefully will be really helpful for you. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, be sure to like it and also subscribe for more like this from me.